Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is SP Jackie back again today with another Clash Royale video. And today I'm going to show you an awesome, pretty awesome deck that is found from Arena 2 to Arena 6. And this deck, if you are stuck in Arena 6, you can use this deck to go to Arena 7 because the deck works pretty well. So, you guys can see it contains a main unit that is a Hog Rider and Freeze Combo. It's one of the greatest used combos in Clash Royale. So, right now, you let's check the deck. Sorry for this. Okay, the deck is here Giant Skeleton, Fireball, Hog Rider, Pekka. That's a mini pecker archers arrows free spell and a ball breaker so it's a bomber so let's do some live battle and i'm going to say thanks you for subscribing my channel i've almost reached 500 subscribers that's because of you guys there will be lot giveaways coming if i reach to 1k subscriber hope i get it very soon so right now we are facing uh, don't know who the name it is it's written in something different language so right now he is probably going with the hog wider cycle like this is one of the great day as this there as this attacks was done live to show you guys that the deck works pretty awesome if you're doing it in a right way so one of the great use of the chance collision is to distract one lane and going to uh, push from one other lane that is what the use of chance collision is you're gonna push from one lane directly because the chance skeleton may be distracted by smaller small unit but yes one once the giant skeleton is distracting the right lane you can push over to the left lane or vice versa so right now i have a decent push to his tower but he's trying to push again and he's doing a great push towards my left lane and he did it very well right now because you can see he's done a great amount of damage to that tower and these fire wheels are so awesome that you can imagine that they can do a great amount of damage if they are not count away easily so right now I'm saving my elixir and prayer again going for the giant skeleton from the left lane this time because I want to make him know but I don't want to make him know what I'm going to do into my next move. This is what you have to do in every time when you're facing an opponent. Maybe which whatever strategy you're using. Right now placing the hog wider into the middle because I know that the cannons is going to come. But yes, this time the hog wider push was just a waste because that hog wider didn't even move towards the tower. He just buried away. Now he's in the spy speed. Now the balance changes have come. Tesla's uh, cannon hit point has been decreased and the Tesla's has been increased. So I have seen using more using players using Tesla. We will be seeing players using Tesla. Right now we are pushing back with a mini Pekka and this mini Pekka if it goes so dangerous if we are not country. So now he's trying to fireball and zap. This is one of the bad idea I ever seen. And this free spell is gonna help me a lot as he's gonna freeze the area and could do a decent amount of damage, almost taking the tower down. So it's a 60 second time he's trying to push again and he's going to take this tower out easily i tried to arrow this but yes keep in mind that arrows can do almost 80 to 90 percent damage if your arrows are level higher my level are level arrows are level 8 so they do a decent amount of damage but yes you have to be sure that it has that amount of hit point left which arrows can do so right now i'm pushing back with the giant skeleton and the wall breaker combo because the giant skeleton may move easily and this time he hide this one more troop that is a minion hole this minion hold is so defensive unit but yes it can be easily counter with arrows right now my chance can reach to his tower and doing a decent amount of damage and he's going to push again with that hog water cycle there this is one of the common decks and i hate this deck whenever i face it so i like to befit this kind of pupil right now i'm doing the same thing again i'm going with the hog or giant skeleton first and then this time moving the wall breaker from the back side that right from the left side now you guys can see i'm not making him know that what i'm going to do into my next move and this giant skeleton is again going towards the tower doing a decent amount of damage and he plays a wrong move over here placing the cannon in front of a giant bomber and that's gonna take him out very easily so right now he's trying to push again i place the hog wider and this hog wider has done his part great work and just an arrow would be necessary to take this out and there we are this is our clutch win so this strategy works well and it helps to push from the royal arena so it helps to push to royal arena very easily if it is used very properly because the main constituent is a giant skeleton hog wider freeze and a mini pega because once you use this tools very easily pretty well you can actually push towards push to the towers and get a decent amount of damage so let's do another battle later right we need the condition went away so let's i will back and there we are so let's do a battle and you will came to know that how the deck works awesome if we are doing it well so right now we are facing another challenge but i don't know why i'm getting those players and this all don't know what language it is but it's we're gonna do some decent amount of damage to him also so right now you guys can see 
I'm going back with Chan Skeleton from the back. Chan Skeleton can be so dead, distractive, if I don't care. Now, right now, I have that combo coming that is a Hog Wider and a Vinipeka combo. This combo is so, so awesome if you are placing it very well. And right now, I'm ready with a Freeze because Freeze can be helping me to get a decent amount of damage to that tower. I place a freeze at the right time and you know now the recent update come will be coming today like maybe a may 18 or 19 the freeze timing has reduced by one second and that is something dangerous and even the royal giant damage has been decreased by four percent which is necessary because the royal giant is right now so overpowered and it's not easily counter because of his range and yes it can be counter if you're knowing how to counter it but yes it's difficult to counter them as because of his way right now pushing with a pekka and a bomb right Oh, sorry, wall breaker, not a pop rider. Sorry, so the wall breaker can do a great amount of damage to a small unit. And right now, the Pekka has taken out a tower, and there we are. The tower is literally going down. So, right now, we have got his one tower, and we are going to push for another one. And we are moving again with the left lane now. Fireballing the musket is one of the great reasons. Even fireball is so. Uh, was tell that you can use in the barbarians musket here and even on the big amount of units coming towards you you can actually uh, take out wizards if you have a great level of fireball now i'm going with the f okay come on he's placing the inferno but i'm going for a three crown blue so i'm waiting for that 60 second elixir time so placing the uh, giant skeleton from the back giving me a time for my elixir to get there and placing the wall chan i place the archers to take this all chan he will take it and take it very easy right now i'm finished waiting for my hog wider play up mickey mini pekka combo sorry and i'm gonna freeze this tower so that they can do an excessive amount of damage and right now they reach towards the tower and i'm gonna freeze this and this wall breaker is going to take this inferno and there we are this uh, these combos are so deadly that we are sure for getting a two week car so if you like today's episode don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video uh, comment down below how the deck works for you and keep on checking my channel subscribe to my channel if you are new here for more clash world and clash of class thanks for watching this video this is epic like clashes